Hey, this is Thomas, Aquarium Hobby Reporter. This is the Ultimate Hobby. Hello, this is Thomas with Thomas Vision Reef. Welcome to my new series, Beginner's Aquarium Guide. The awesome part about this series is that it will have an unlimited number of episodes. And in each episode, I will have an expert from the aquarium hobby give their recommendations to beginners. In the first four episodes, Albert J. Teal, aquarium author and writer of several books in the aquarium hobby, with his most recent book, Nano Reef Aquariums, will be going over his favorite picks for beginner fish and coral. But first, I have a little clip from my friend over at Nano News. What's up, Ultimate Hobbyists? This is Joey Roberti from over at Nano News. And I'm gonna be sharing my top three favorite fish for starting off your Nano Aquarium. My number three spot is held by a little guy with a lot of personality, the Clown Goby. Clown Gobies are one of my favorites because of the way they interact with corals. You'll find them perched on your zoas or maybe even swaying on your leathers. They come in a variety of colors and they're super easy to care for. Since these gobies are so peaceful and hardly contribute to your tank's bio load, they make a great addition to any nano reef. My second favorite starter fish would have to be the yellow watchman goby. In addition to its vibrant color and interesting look, this fish exhibits one of the most interesting behaviors known to the saltwater hobby. It will actually pair up with a pistol shrimp to form a symbiotic relationship. The pistol shrimp has poor eyesight and acts as the goby's bodyguard, while the goby provides food for the shrimp and helps burrow tunnels for the two to live in. This phenomenon is easily one of the most interesting things I've witnessed in the hobby, and it's perfect for any beginner hobbyist. My all-time favorite nano fish is an interesting species that perfectly balances form and function, and it's called the tailspot blenny. Now when it comes to nano fish, the tailspot blenny is the complete package. It'll keep your algae in check while also keeping you amused. They are extremely affordable and easy to care for, and they can be shy at first, but once they get used to your tank, you'll see their personality start to shine. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with any of these three fish, but the balance of beauty and function offered by the Tailspot Blenny is hard to pass up. If you're interested in more Nano Reef related content, then check out my Nano News series on my YouTube channel. Happy reefing! When Thomas uh, asked me to uh, come up with you know, a couple of uh, uh, genera uh, of, of fish that you know, would be good for both small, medium, and larger tanks, but that are not as sensitive to, you know, changes in uh, the water quality uh, as, you know, more delicate fish, right? Uh, what we're going to try and do is cover uh, fish that are uh, defined more uh, as fish for the beginner, even though uh, <clears throat> people who have nano reefs may tend to use uh, these fish, uh, in their aquariums, uh, you can obviously use those in larger uh, aquariums as well. So the question then becomes, why uh, do we call them beginner uh, fish? Well, mostly uh, because the fish that we're uh, going to talk about are fish that are not as uh, demanding on the water quality as some of the uh, other types of fish that you, you know, will find in the trade. Talk about uh, blennies for a little bit. And which ones that I think would be uh, very, you know, suitable uh, for, you know, a beginner. Uh, <clears throat> one would be, uh, you know, the bicolor blenny. Uh, and, you know, another one besides the bicolor blenny would be the Midas uh, blenny. And then we have uh, the starry uh, blenny. And, you know, to pick uh, another one uh, that fits in the blenny category would be uh, the tailspot blenny. The tailspot blenny is, you know, uh, a smaller fish, but uh, still fits in any uh, size of aquarium. Now, what is particular about uh, blennies? Well, food-wise, uh, nothing really. Uh, they're mainly uh, herbivores, so they basically go around and they pick on the rocks and they pick on the substrate and, you know, they will 
go around your aquarium and look, you know, for whatever food uh, that, you know, they can find, including very small animalcules that live uh, on rock that are so small that you probably don't even see them or know that they're there, but don't worry, your fish know. All right? Now, I said these are herbivores. That doesn't mean uh, that that's the only thing that they eat. And, and you know, if you think about it for a while, uh, if you were to look at a video on a real reef, and, and you looked at all of the fish, including you know, the blennies that we're talking about, what do you notice? Is that, one, the fish eat constantly, and secondly, yes, they will have uh, what I would call a favorite food, but that doesn't mean that that excludes everything else. Don't worry, if they find fish eggs somewhere, they will eat them, right? And obviously, that's not herbivorous food. Uh, if you put meaty uh, foods in the aquarium, like maybe uh, mice that you have defrosted, and, and you know when you add them to the water, some of that will become real small, right? There'll be tiny particles. Well, don't worry, uh, your blennies will go after that as well. One thing you need for blennies, because what they tend to do is they tend to move around the aquarium at a fairly rapid pace. So they sit in one spot and then suddenly you see them dash across the aquarium to another spot and the rest on either a piece of rock or uh, a crevice in the rock uh, or maybe even uh, you know on a piece of coral that you have in the aquarium. The nice thing about uh, those fish is that what they do, even when they sit on uh, corals uh, and sort of perch on them, uh, they do not cause any harm. So it's nothing to be uh, concerned about. Some people sometimes say, oh, well, there, you know, my uh, uh, Midas uh, is always, uh, you know, doing this or doing that. and, and uh, you know, uh, is it gonna hurt my, uh, my uh, coral? Well, um, it, it isn't, okay? And so you, you don't have to worry about that. 